If you're like me, you save and collect all your lanyards and badges from every big tournament you go to. I've seen people put all their badges on one nail, but once you do that and get a few of them on there, they start to overlap a lot and you can't really see much of them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a plaque to display your lanyards in a way that makes them all much more visible. This could also be a really good and cheap Christmas gift for a smasher friend. You'll want to find the woodcraft section of the store, and that's where most of the supplies are going to be. Depending on how long your tag is and how many lanyards you have to hang up, you can either go with the small board or the big one. Since my tag is pretty long and I have tons of lanyards, I'm going to go with the big board. Next you want to find the letters, which should be right next to the boards in the store. They usually have both black and white letters available, and I've also seen unpainted wood ones before. The colors that I had in mind was going to be taking an inspiration from the color Diddy that I used, the pink one, where he has a pink shirt and a white stars on it. So I was going to do a pink board with white letters. Unfortunately they didn't have a T in white, so I had to just go with the black letters, and I'll show you how to paint those anyways. I highly recommend laying out all the letters on the board before you buy everything, just to make sure it all fits and lines up good. Around the corner from the wood stuff, there should be a paint section, and here they'll have pretty much every color paint you could ever imagine in these small bottles. Uh, they're pretty cheap at just about 70 cents each, and each bottle in it is going to have more than enough to completely cover all the letters or the entire board. Just make sure you buy the right paint that's meant for wood. I'm going to pick up a bottle of pink and a bottle of white. Lastly, you'll need to buy hooks for the lanyards and some way to hang the whole thing up on the wall with. I recommend these hooks that come in a pack of 20 for $3, and I'm going to go with these sawtooth hangers to put it up on the wall, which costs just buck thirty-seven for a pack of 3. You could use pretty much anything you want to hang it up with though. Before you paint the board, you'll want to sand the edges down a bit just to get rid of all the splinters and to smooth it out. And then you'll be ready to paint. I usually just put a dab of paint on the face of the board and then use that to get some paint on the brush and then I'll go around the edges first. Once I finish that, I'll just fill the middle in. Optionally, you can put a coat of paint on the backside as well, but it's not really necessary since it'll be hanging up against the wall anyway, so you won't really see it. It just makes it look more complete if you're going to be using this as like a gift or something. And when painting the letters, just make sure you get all along the edges and the insides of the letters too. Most of the time, you're going to need to do at least two coats of paint, especially if you're using lighter colors like I am. Some black was showing through on the letters, and this knot in the wood was showing through on the plaque. But after a second coat, everything was looking pretty good. Gluing the letters on doesn't need to be exact. I pretty much just eyeball the spacing and use a straight edge to make sure they're all lined up properly. I use this special glue that works well on wood and dries pretty much clear. To apply the glue to the back of the letters, I use a q-tip and spread the glue out evenly there. If you just put a line of the glue straight onto the back of the letter, once you put it down on the board, some of it might ooze out a little bit, and it might be slightly visible on the face of the plaque. Since my glue is clear, it's not that noticeable, but I always just like to spread the glue more evenly just to be safe. When the glue is dry, it's time for putting the hooks on. Using a tape measure, I alternate putting dots above and below at about a 2 inch interval. These dots are where I'm going to drill the holes for the hooks. You can put as many or as few hooks in as you feel like you need, but I'm doing a lot because I have a lot of badges to display. By alternating going above and below the tape measure, you can space your lanyards out vertically a little bit, so that way when they're all up on display, you don't have as much overlap on your badges. Use the smallest drill bit you have available and just drill a little bit into each of the markings. You don't have to go all the way through the board, just enough so that you can have a hole to start putting the hooks on. Some of the hooks may go in easier than others depending on if there was a knot there in the wood or not, but if you just apply a little bit of pressure while twisting, they should all go in fairly easily. And just like that, you're done! Optionally, at the end you can put a clear coat of polyurethane on to help prevent your paint from scratching, but it shouldn't be an issue if you're just hanging it up high on a wall anyways. I had a can available, so I just did a coat just to be safe, and once it's all dry, all you have to do is hang it up and add some lanyards.